Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with your Realtek audio console and it's unable to connect to the RPC service. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for troubleshoot. That's match, so come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Now on the right side, you want to select underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the audio troubleshooter and the corresponding run option. And then you want to walk through the recommended selections here on the screen and just go step by step and to see what it would suggest. And then see if that is able to help resolve the problem. Again, you just could continue on here. And like I said, hopefully that would be able to rectify the issue. Now, if you're still having a problem, a couple other things we can look into as well. If you right click on the taskbar and select task manager, you want to select the startup apps button on the left side. Look for something in here that says real tech. Anything that says real tech in here, go ahead and select it and make sure it's enabled. So if it's currently disabled in the status field here, check mark the enabled option or select the enabled button up at the top to turn it on. So again, that's something else I would recommend taking a look into as well as opening up the services console. So open up services and look for anything that says Realtek Audio Universal Service. So if we go to Realtek, R-E-A-L-T-E-K and anything in here, you just double click on it. It says startup type to automatic and then you would start the service. Again, anything this is real tech in here, you'd want to go ahead and just enable that. So set the startup type again to automatic and then start the service. And then hopefully that would be able to resolve the issue. And one final thing we can look into here as well, if you open up the search menu and type in device manager, best match should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Go down to sound, video and game controllers and double click on it. And then double click on whatever your sound device is in here. And then select the driver tab and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a manufacturer or developer specific one for real tech, I'd suggest selecting that. Otherwise, you can select the generic driver in here and then select the next option. And then yes. And then once you're done, go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer, which it appears to prompt us for that anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and restart our device at this time. So there you go guys, hopefully this point or issue has been resolved and as always thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.